So I'll be going over mining Ethereum on my RTX 3080 Ti. I'll be going over the hash rates, overclocks, and power draw mining Ethereum. Now, if you just want a quick glance, I'll have everything in the description below. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of Miner. Okay, so this is my test bench with the RTX 3080 Ti, and my test bench does idle around 64 watts. Now I'm going to mine Ethereum using Phoenix Miner first, so you can see the hash rates decrease due to the hash rate limiter. But then I'm going to switch it up and use T-Rex Miner, so I can do some more advanced overclocking to save a little bit more power. Okay, so first let's test out Phoenix Miner on stock settings. So running Phoenix Miner. So right in the beginning, you'll see I'm getting around 103 mega hashes. But then of course, after a couple seconds, my hash rate is decreasing due to the hash rate limiter. But let's check this out. And as you can see, it keeps on dropping. And then as you can see, after a minute, it does drop all the way down to about 56 mega hashes. Now my whole test bench is pulling around 358 watts. So the GPU itself is only pulling around 294 watts. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this and do some overclocking. Now the best overclock efficiency settings I tested on my RTX 3080 Ti, I put the power limit at 50, the core at negative 502, and the memory at plus 1500. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the power limit at 100 so you can see the hash rates drop. Let's go ahead and run the miner, but then I'm going to drop the power limit to 50. So running Phoenix Miner. With these overclocks, but the power limit at 100%, you'll see that my hash rate is starting at 121 mega hashes. But then of course, because of the hash rate limiter, the hash rate is decreasing. But let's check this out. Okay, and then as you can see, after a minute, it does drop to about 66 mega hashes. Now the whole test bench is pulling around 333 watts. So the GPU itself is now pulling around 269 watts. But let's go ahead and drop the power limit to 50%. And then of course, let's give it a minute and then check the power. So as you can see, putting the power limit at 50, the core at negative 502, and the memory at plus 1500, the whole test bench is now pulling around 265 watts. So the GPU itself is now pulling around 201 watts. Now to do some advanced overclocking, let's go ahead and lock the voltage in MSI Afterburner. So what you can do is push Control F, or you can go ahead and click on this icon right here. And if so, you'll see this page pop up. Once you see this page, this is your core frequency and this is your voltage. Let's go ahead and lock the voltage at 700. In order to do so, go ahead and click on this first box right here. Once highlighted, push L to lock it. You'll see a yellow dotted line going down. Once you see that, make sure you go back to MSI Afterburner and click this check mark to apply it. And then of course, clicking that check mark will lock the voltage at 700. Once we lock the voltage, let's give it a couple seconds and check this out. So locking the voltage at 700, I did lose about one mega hashes, but my power did drop about five watts. So as you can see, I'm getting around 65 mega hashes, but my whole test bench is pulling around 259 watts. So the GPU itself is now pulling around 195 watts. Okay, so now let's go ahead and reset these settings and use T-Rex Miner to do some advanced overclocking. Okay, so in T-Rex Miner, I can do a little bit more advanced overclocking. I can actually set the overclocks in the bat file. Now you can actually do this in Phoenix Miner as well, but in Phoenix Miner, if you try to set the voltage, it doesn't stick. So in T-Rex Miner, I put the core clock at negative 502, the memory clock at plus 1500, and the voltage, I wanted to lock it at 675. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run T-Rex Miner with the new overclocks in the bat file. So 
So as you can see right here, it's setting the overclocks. Now what I can do is I can close down MSI Afterburner and reopen it and you'll see the new overclock set. Now as you can see the power limit is at 100 but I set the voltage at 675 so the power limit isn't affected here. The core clock I set it to negative 502 and the memory I set it to plus 1500. And as you can see, I'm getting around 65 mega hashes and the test bench is now pulling around 255 watts. So the GPU itself is now pulling around 191 watts. So I did save an additional five watts by locking the voltage at 675. Now I do wanna mention that I can decrease the core a lot further down, but it does affect the hash rate, so it's not worth it. I can also increase the memory clock above 1,500, but anything between 1,500 to 1,900, the hash rate didn't change, and anything above 1,900, the hash rate actually decreased. But there you have it. These are the best efficiency overclock settings I set. Basically, if you're using MSI Afterburner, you want to put the power limit at 50, the core at negative 502, and the memory at plus 1,500. Now, if you do want to lock your voltage in MSI Afterburner, the lowest you can lock it to is at 700 voltage. And then if you do want to lock your voltage a little bit lower to save a little bit more power, you can use T-Rex Miner and edit the bat file and have your voltage set lower to about 675 is what I set mine to. But just be aware, it is silicon lottery and my overclocks may not work for your GPUs. So you do want to adjust your overclocks to get it more efficient. Okay, so in conclusion, the best efficiency overclock settings that I tested with my RTX 3080 Ti, I was getting around 65 mega hashes, pulling around 190 watts. Now, if you did want to compare, that's like getting two RX 580 8 gigabytes in one. And as you saw before, using the best overclock settings, my hash rates did start around 121 mega hashes, but then it dropped down due to the hash rate limiter. So if the hash rate limiter does get bypassed, this card will be one of the best mining cards out there. But only time will tell if the hash rate limiter will be bypassed. And if you do have any suggestions or ideas, let me know in the comments below. And let me also know your thoughts on this whole situation. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mine results mining Ethereum on my RTX 3080 Ti. And I'll be doing some more testings on my RTX 3080 Ti. And I'll see if I can bypass the hash rate limiter as well. So stay tuned. And if you do have any questions and you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash selectmaminer every Sunday 2.30pm US Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course... Thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.